Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I have some help for physical therapists because, in my opinion, the little exercises that they show people, the little movement exercises, etc., those things really don't get the job done very well. And what physical therapists need to do is watch my videos and learn how to really dig muscle tension you dig. out. You have to dig the shit out. Whether it be these muscles or some other part of your body. The basic rule is no pain, no gain. You have to get in there to release these so that the tendons here do not get strained when you go like that. If you don't do this and you continue to walk, these get more and more strained and injured and pretty soon you have to use crutches because you didn't take care of the problem in and the first teach place. their clients how to do that themselves at home with self massage is what it's called and um, first you do the massage the self massage and then you do the stretching always do the self massage first then the stretch and then after you've done all that then you may if it's not too sore back there, the tendon's not too sore, you may be able to gently stretch the calf, like that. But remember, you've got to be careful to not injure the tendon, so feel. Feel it, and don't go beyond what you can do. And then alternate do. back and forth and then keep testing for tension and pain. And the more that you continue to do that series of activities, the more you will get results. Okay, so watch my videos. And also, it's very important to use gravity as a tool. That is getting the job done. Put it on your toes like that. Ugh. Feel for where it's tight. That is how you release your feet. So basically when you use gravity and you use massage tools in conjunction with that, then you're able to get the kind of pressure that you really need to be able to release body tissue that's just dense and hard. If I use my fingers like that, it feels pretty good. But it just doesn't get, it just doesn't dig as deep as I would like it to and that's where this comes in okay so what you do is you hold one end like that you put your arm on the inside of your knee like that you hold the other end like that can you dig it can you see it and you use this as leverage and you can crank on that per peroneus peroneus however it's pronounced muscle that gets so damn tight from the various activities you do and if that sharp one gets too aggressive I'll just flip it over and use the back side the round side or use one of these other edges, corners, corners, right there. Now, this tool is also kind of like a gua sha tool. I'll show you what a gua sha tool looks like. This is a Chinese gua sha tool. And I bought this on Amazon and they're available on my site too, through Amazon. And full of toxins and that's another subject, but what we need to do is get people the relief initially and then when they experience that relief then they can move on to learn other modalities of healing and it's just one step at a time here 
And for me to get to where I'm ready to start helping physical therapists and doctors and naturopaths and chiropractors to learn how to do the things that I do. <laughs> you can lift your full weight all up on it almost. Which are instrumental for all of them to learn how Use to do. Use the softball. This is a hugely important thing. Like everyone in the country should have a leather softball. Everyone in the world should have a leather softball for putting like right there under your butt and digging out the tension. Crack. <laughs> and I tend to laugh a lot when I do it. Cause I'm like, ah, God, it's such freaking relief. <laughs> For me to get to this point has taken a lot of healing on my part because in all honesty, I have not been very wanting to work with them. <laughs> it's pretty obvious, huh? <laughs> I'm the one with the uh, anti-doctors playlist on YouTube, okay? but. Things have to progress, and we all have to come together eventually as one. And so we have to look and accept, look at and accept the truths. And if you just work on this, what I call a pinching point, there's three pinching places, pinching points, here, here, and here. Start with this one the teres and the subscapularis and massage all that nicely releasing all that okay tissue. so the truths are that the techniques that i do are techniques that i've learned from my own experience that i know work because i was in major pain and i had no medical insurance no health insurance at all and I don't agree with it because most of what it pays for is drugs. <laughs> Which will kill people. <laughs> so if you're kind of in the middle, and you feel that my techniques would benefit you, then it would be very, very good for you to contact me, and I'll teach you via Skype how to teach your clients, patients, whatever you'd like to call them, how to heal themselves, at home. Now, granted, this may mean that they'll not be coming to you as much. <laughs> and so you may have to substitute your time for like gardening at home, which would be very good for you and less stressful because it's not good to just be catering to people all the time and have them not catering to themselves. Things have to change. So I want to thank, sir, thank everybody. <laughs> thank you for joining me. Be well.